what's going on everybody? Back today with another review. Thank you as always for tuning in, checking out my videos, liking, subscribing, commenting. It is all very, very much appreciated. All right, today we have a rep versus retail of the Air Jordan 5 off-white muslin. The retailer on the right and the reps are on the left. The reps are coming in from Kiku. This is their God Killer batch. So this is a review I've been looking forward to doing for some time. I've compared these with another um, rep batch, um, but I wanted to get them up to up next to Kiku's, um, just because you know I have um, I had had a pair in the past, um, gave them to a, a friend, um, wanted to get some more, and I just remembered how good they were, and then I got retail, and I was like, I gotta I gotta compare those because I knew they were super close. And that they are. These are extremely, extremely good reps. Let me pull one away of each. We'll bring these back up though to look at that zip tie though. But yeah, I mean, these are these are really close. Um, but let's dive in. So obviously that um, muslin material, um, the color on that looks great. It's perfect. If you watched my other review, um, the other batch I had this this patch right here was like almost a different color. Um, anyways, this looks awesome. I mean, right up next to each other, same color, same pattern, just no difference there. Toe box, rep, super slim, retail, just as slim. Looks really good. Um, another thing with reps is this front piece, how it's kind of translucent. I know the colors have been too dark on some reps. Um, this is, I mean, the color is the exact same. There is like really not much different from these. I mean, it's scary how good these are. Um, yeah, uh, they, they just look awesome. Now the fraying on the edges that's supposed to be like that, um, you'll see that on, on, on the retail in some parts. These are actually kind of a, a clean pair. You can see it more back here on the pieces, um, but the fraying, and, and it happens with wear. These are DS, well, obviously they're both DS, but happens a little more with wear. Let's go to those shark teeth. They look good. The amount of splatter is great. It's nice and consistent. Obviously it's gonna be different on every pair, um, but that looks good, the consistency. Also, how they're fully painted. I've seen some um, that they got really skinny at the top, and as you can see the retail, um, they don't get super skinny. Again, I mean, it just looks really, really good. Let's go to the laces. Um, you've got some black laces in here. They do come with red and white. They come in the exact same packaging. Um, then you've got that aged netting underneath. I, I had with the other pair I had. Um, somebody said my retails looked. Oh, they were aged because I had had them for a while. Well, just like research the shoe for one second, and then you'll realize that the style Off White was going for was an aged look. That's how they're supposed to come. I just hate when people comment without doing a little bit of research. Um, but I appreciate the comments because uh, we can all learn from them and we can all learn, you know, when somebody says something like that, you know, you can find useful info. The lace lock looks really good. Up there, you can see it's the same color. A lot of rep batches, again, were just kind of the wrong amount of fogginess. Um, it's, you know, you'd think that'd be kind of easy, but it's been hard for reps. You can see on there, it's the same. They they also come with the same exact tags. Um, you can see, I think, yeah, the font looks about the same. Maybe a little bolder. Eh, no, that's about the same. Um, tongue height. On the other rep I had, the tongue height was too low on the rep. These are the exact same. Another big thing with the reps is the embossing around um, the Jumpman. You can see it's... It's nicely embossed. Jumpman looks good. There's a little fray on that, but that happens. Then you've got that exposed foam on the back. A, a big part, a big detail on this shoe is the size of the cage. So the size is, um, it's big. And also the, the hole, the cutout is big. These, these are nailed. These look perfect. Um, the other batches I had, also the other batches were clear looking and then the circle was way too small. On there you can see, they're, they're just about identical. Shape is great, as you can see, same size. Shape looks outstanding. 
I mean, I'm just, this might be the, the most impressed I've been with any rep I've had, just how close they are. You know, Air Jordan 1s are usually good, 4s are good, um, but these, these, are, these are really good. The, you can see the 23, it looks like there's a little less space. I mean, that's, that's being nitpicky. It's pretty close, as you can see. Good placement. Let's look at the air bubble. Nice and clean with that white inlay. This is the retail. Here's the rep, looks good. Let's go to the back. So a lot of early reps, the um, placement of the air, of the Nike Air was, um, it was too small and it wasn't close enough to the sole. Um, they are supposed to be really close. I've seen on some smaller sizes, they're even closer. You can see this, the, the rep maybe could be brought down a little, but I think it varies kind of from pair to pair. That honestly looks really good to me. Shape looks good in the back. See the tongue height again hitting the same. You got that Air Jordan tag on both. More of that exposed foam. I really like how these feel on foot because like a, a regular Jordan 5 is kind of, it has that bubble around the ankle collar. This is slimmed down with the exposed foam. Soles look good, same color. It kind of looks like maybe this is a little more matte, but it also could be because this shoe is, you know, a few years old where the reps are just being constant, they're being just remade. So it's a, it's the same shoe, but it's newer. All right, big, big, big detail on this shoe is the off-white placement or the, the, the air, I'm sorry, the off-white text underneath the cage. Um, you can see there, it looks good. You can see where the 90 hits. The font is good, the boldness. Um, you can see the D and where the A hit. You know, it's almost, they're almost, it's almost spot on. Um, the TM behind there is hidden a little bit where it's more exposed there. But again, I believe that's kind of a feature where it's going to vary. You just kind of want it in the, in the same ballpark, which this is. Um, last, that, um, again, that splatter looks good. Then we can get um, a look at the bottom. Same color, they usually get the bottom pretty good. It looks like the rep is maybe slightly, slightly more yellow, but again, you wear these and they're just gonna age. Um, so no big deal there. Now, let's pull up, I gotta remember which one's which, because they are so close. Um, yeah, this is good. The, um, the, the zip ties are perfect. You can see it's matte on the one side. I had them right up next to each other, matte, and then it's got that glossy front. Glossy front. The zip tie is, there was absolutely no difference. Where a lot of off-whites earlier batches, and not just the off-white fives, the, um, just the color was a lot different. Obviously black's a little, you know, like the red ones were kind of off. But this looks good, this is, this is great. Um, and lastly, the box is like the exact same. That's like really where you kind of see the biggest difference in reps is the size of the box and the color. This is the exact same in the paper inside. Um, I mean, they really, they really nailed this, which is scary, you know, because I do not think selling reps as retail is cool at all. That's a really slime ball move. Um, but if you want to get them just to wear, cause you don't want to spend, you know, $1,500, then do it, you know? Um, but yeah, these are looking really good. Again, coming in from Kiku, their God Killer batch. Let me know what y'all think. Catch you next time.